Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you are doing well. Before starting the video, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon button. In this video, we will learn about the user interface, reference planes, and units used in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start. First of all, we will see how SOLIDWORKS is working. Most of the users using SOLIDWORKS don't know how SOLIDWORKS is working on the back. So SOLIDWORKS is a solid modeling computer design and computer edit engineering computer program. SOLIDWORKS is a solid modeler and utilizes a parametric feature based approach. So now the question is what is a parametric feature based approach? Parameter refer to constraints whose values determine the shape or geometry of the model or assembly. Parameter can either be numeric parameters such as line, length, or circles you are drawing on the sketch, or geometric parameters such as tangent, splines, parallel, concentric, horizontal, or vertical constraint, etc. So, this is how our SOLIDWORKS work. Now, let's start SOLIDWORKS and learn about the user interface of it. So, when you open the SOLIDWORKS, you have this window. In this window, you can see part assembly drawing. This tab will take you toward new part, new assembly, or new drawing you have to you are going to create. This part is showing you the recent documents you have already opened on SolidWorks. Like I have opened this part and this this portion shows the recent folder folder from which you have opened the part like i have opened the part from this folder so it is showing you so if you want to make a new part click this tab it will take you to our solidworks user interface now this is the basic interface of solidworks this is the tree bar from where you can see the plane or right plane or the feature you have added. Let's start from here. From here, you can create a new document. From here, you can open an existing document folder you have already saved. From here, you can save your document. And from here, from this gear button, open it. You can make make a custom template from this option. Like if you want to check or uncheck the values you want, regulation snap. If you want to uncheck endpoints and sketch point, you don't want them in the relation. You can uncheck these selection performance. If you have a, have a low specs PC or laptop, just slide this toward less or it will make it faster like if you will slide it toward more it will make your PC and SOLIDWORKS performance slower so slide this to less and it will work faster assemblies external references you can play with these different options and you can edit your template from document properties you can edit drawing components of your requirement anything you want to change like annotations balloons dot buttons geometric transient nodes revision cloud surface finishes belt symbols or you can you want to change a standard iso you can change it from here we will study how to generate drawing in our next video so stay tuned so from here you can change the dimensions, angles, running, arc lengths, its uh, graphics, graphical visual, and material shapes, detailing. So this is done with the gear option or system properties. You can change anything you want of your requirement. Let's study about units. You can change different units from this tab here on the right corner you can see you can select meter kilogram second 
if you want to work in centimeter you can select this if you want to work in millimeter gram second you can select simply this and you are good to go you want to work in IPS you can select this if you want to make a custom units select this and select the custom now you can change the decimal places you want like three up to three decimal places up to four decimal places like you want uh, length in inches or centimeters you can change it from here if you want length in inches and mass in pounds or milligram you can change it all from here so these are the units you can work in IPS, MMGS, CGS and MPS now study about the planes what are planes why these planes are using in SOLIDWORKS first of all study let's study about front plane vertical plane or front plane the plane in front of observer is the vertical plane or it is also called a frontal plane the projection on the vertical plane is called the front, front view the sketch we will make on this front plane will be the front view of the observer this was our vertical plane or front plane this is our top plane what is top plane? horizontal plane or top plane is horizontal or perpendicular to vertical plane the projection on the horizontal plane is called the top view or horizontal projection on plane so the sketch you will make on this plane will be a, will be our top view and perpendicular our perpendicular to our frontal plane so these are our plane we will make sketch on this and then convert it to 3d this is our design library from which you can open a ready made part and you can add in now toolbox so you can add different parts from here like this you don't have to make a new part this was the purpose of a li design library this was the purpose of design library this is a file explorer this is the drawing view this is appearance from where you can add different type of shades or paints to your parts or surface or model so this is the basic graphical user interface you are seeing these are the tabs using different features we can make 3d parts or convert 2d part to 3d parts this is a sketch tab we can make sketch in either 3d or 2d these are these are the different shapes you can add tabs or more functions from right clicking this go to tabs and select weldments if you want to work in weldments you can go and start working in weldments you can open direct editing or close direct editing from here you can load add-ins like if you want to work in different uh, CA softwares or CAM softwares you can open or start it from here look this is SOLIDWORKS CAM 2020 this is SOLIDWORKS flow simulation so you can add different extensions or add-ins from here so this was our video on introduction to SOLIDWORKS stay tuned for the next video